earthly mother is the yin that is the manifestation of us of god in this earthly realm and heavenly father is more the spirit that is not in this heavenly realm that we are only connected to through the mother which again makes it so important to focus on the earthly mother keep the laws which are the more basic laws of staying healthy you know don't don't hate your brother don't um, drink a lot don't um, eat meat you know all these different things because it matters in only that way you know by honoring the mother will god the heavenly father give you your inheritance and give you the blessing and help you on your way you know to enlightenment and let you get to that point so love your earthly mother as she loves your body and so love your true brothers as your heavenly father and your earthly mother love them and then your heavenly father shall give you his holy spirit and your earthly mother shall give you her holy body then shall the sons of man like true brothers give love to one another the love which they receive from their heavenly father and from their earthly mother and they shall all become comforters of one another and then shall disappear from the earth all evil and all sorrow and there shall be joy and love upon the earth and then shall the earth be like the heavens and the kingdom of god shall come for the sons of men live in the heavenly father and in the earthly mother and the heavenly father and the earthly mother live in them so we are divine we are good um, and we just need to prove it and earn it just like a child, you know, grows up and earns his inheritance. Love is eternal. Love is stronger than death. We will all evolve out of death. We will become enlightened to where we get out of that cycle of reincarnation. Talking about people who just teach by the scriptures are teaching, speaking a dead tongue of dead men through his diseased immortal body. So men understand him. But that's because all men are diseased and all men are in death and no one sees the light of life. Blind leads the blind on the dark paths of sin, diseases, and suffering. And at last, all fall into the pit of death over and over and over again. So be careful who you follow. And, you know, there are ways to make sure. Don't follow the rich. You know, don't follow the obese. Don't follow the gluttonous. Don't follow, you know, those who you can tell have a hatred for their brethren. Follow, therefore, only the laws of your earthly mother, which I have told you. And when her angels shall have cleansed and renewed your body and strengthened your eyes, you will be able to bear the light of our heavenly Father. So, again, you get rewarded by learning and having the spirit of the heavenly Father, the light of the heavenly Father, be shine upon you. I don't believe that this literally means that we should practice sun gazing and try to gaze into the sun. I think that if that is literal in that sense, which it sounds like it is in other, oh yeah, it goes on to say, when you can gaze on the brightness of the noonday sun with unflinching eyes, you can then look upon the blinding light of your heavenly father. So I see people, people who eat animals, trying to gaze into the sun, do this sun gazing, which I've done a video on before in the sense that you can get some vitamin D from not looking into the sun, but kind of squinting and seeing the rays and kind of focusing on those for a while, which is completely different. Don't try to look into the sun. This is just silly. This is, to me, that means after, you know, we're enlightened. It doesn't mean that if you just look at the sun so much, then you'll be able to do this. Stuff like that is a shortcut, which I feel like a lot of the evil on this earth right now is trying to find shortcuts into this real true path of enlightenment, which I don't believe is possible. So I don't know why people even try, but you know, to each their own. Have faith, therefore, and hope and love. I tell you truly, you shall not want your reward. So whenever you're, and I've already experienced this, whenever you're walking the path, you know, whenever you found the Essene way and you're, even though I'm just starting upon this journey, I already, you know, it's not like, oh God, you know, I got to get enlightened. Gotta... You are just so happy and overjoyed and you feel so amazing by starting to follow this path that you're not even necessarily thinking of it as an end destination or result you shall not even want your reward because you're already so happy and healthy if you believe in my words you believe in him who sent me the lord of all and who with whom all things are possible for what is impossible with men all these things are possible with god if you believe in the angels of the earthly mother and do her laws your faith shall sustain you 
and you shall never see disease. Love one another, for God is love. So shall his angels know that you walk in his paths. And then shall the angels all come before your face and serve you. So when, again, when you start to walk on the, the path, then you will get all of this help. It's great. So eschew your sins, repent yourselves, baptize yourself so that you may be born again and sin no more. And born again in another way as opposed to being reborn and reborn and reborn. So there's a parable talking about uh, the prodigal son. Um, many years did eat and drink and basically lived in riotousness and lechery with his friends, incurred new debts, squandered all of basically the inheritance and the money lenders would always lend to him because their father, his father was rich and he always paid the debts and eventually the father loses patience and says no more, he's not going to pay, he's not going to bail his son out and get him out of debt. He says if I always continue to pay there will be no end to the sins of my son. And so this is related to all the sins that we do upon ourselves and against God. We're just sinning and sinning and sinning and up to a certain point you know it will be paid it will be paid and then at a certain point it's like no like the devil's gonna get what he is owed by this by these sins in the end though like god will bail you out as long as you again start walking the path happy are those that persevere to the end for the devils of satan write all of your evil deeds in a book the book of your body and your spirit this, I, a lot of us have grown up and heard about this, you know, oh, the body's just a shell. The body's just a shell. It's not even a spiritual thing, really, because what's the spirit is inside. But this gives us a different understanding. It's not the flip opposite, you know, I mean, but our body is a temple, you know, it's not like our body is, you know, we should just, you know, only worry about the body. It is both. But if we sin, like it shows, and this is true, you know, I always feel like I can tell by looking at somebody over the years, you know, getting older and older, like if they're a good person or how they are in certain ways, sad, mad, angry emotions will show in your face, especially again, as you get older, you, you see these things kind of show up because they're what you've really succumbed to and, and made your, built your life upon really. God sees your good deeds written in your bodies and your spirit and rejoices in his heart. He blesses your body and your spirit and all your deeds and gives you for a heritage his earthly and heavenly kingdom that in it you may have everlasting life. The goal, again, is to just ascend and to not, you know, to escape the cycle of reincarnation. Satan torments you greatly because you've already fasted many days. So here we have a group of people coming to Jesus. They're so tormented they're writhing in pain they're just all these abominations and he says the reason for this is because you know you're taking away his food you're you're tormenting satan with hunger and so in his anger he torments you as well so we see this in our fast and our cleansing that we have things happen to us that don't feel that great and you know it's just satan leaving the body you know overeating eating unclean foods, all of this stuff is feeding the devil within our body in so a sense. Or if you know you have a different way of looking at it, you don't have to think about it as the devil, but the, the negative side of life. And I always think about I always think about the microbiome at this point because we have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria. Are these little angels, are these little helpers? I mean they're they're on everything, they're in everything. It's like a spiritual thing for me to think about. And you know, whenever you feed you know gluttonous food and 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 alcohol your body physically wants more this is it's in a way it's very literal and real in a way it's spiritual it's both it's everything so jesus is still talking honor thy heavenly father and thy earthly mother and do their commandments that thy days may be long upon the earth thou shalt not kill for life is given to all by god and that which god has given let no man take it away from one mother proceeds all of the lives upon the earth. Therefore, he who kills, kills his brother. He who kills, kills himself. And this is animals too. Whoso eats the flesh of slain beasts, beasts eats the body of death. For in his blood, every drop of their blood turns to poison. In his breath, their breath to stink. 
in his flesh their flesh to boils. And, and this is again so true.